Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Trending Show. Justin, this is number 14, my friend. 14? Number 14. We've been that going is this, wild. We've been going out this 14 weeks. Wow. So That's uh, great. Now would be a great time to get caught up on the last 14 episodes if you have Now haven't. would be a great time. You're, you're absolutely <laughs> right. And I'm showcasing some brand new pink headphones. Yes. For those really of us watching on those. YouTube, Justin's headphones, yeah. drop, drop a comment and let us know how much you love yeah. those oh, beauties. Whoa. Stickers coming off. Are those? <laughs> I thought they were wings. Oh, yeah. They are. <laughs> they are. So today on Trending Show, we're going to break down Disney+. Plus. You know, normally we talk about YouTube's trending list, but last week mm-hmm. we did Netflix. Today, it's all about Disney+. Plus. And you know what? I feel like it's just everybody is streaming everything right now. Oh, yeah. Obviously, we're still in quarantine, and you can't... You, there, there's... I feel like you can never run out of stuff to stream, or at least you're always looking for stuff to stream. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what we're yeah. here today. Like you said, is we're going to talk about Disney Plus, and the first, the first one I want to talk about is Disney Pixar's Onward. There are some things on this list that I feel passionate about, and yes. this is one of them. Yes, absolutely. <sighs> so Onward, of course, is the latest Disney Pixar Pixar feature film, and. The unique thing that this quarantine has brought on is a lot of companies, media companies, Pixar, Disney, Universal Studios, all those things. They're having to kind of rework their releases, right? And so uh, Onward, of course, was in theaters. And then uh, it went to a digital release where you could you know, purchase it and download it. But for very, very, very brief, short period of time. And then it uh, made its way onto Disney+. Plus. So right. um, I feel like if you're a parent in quarantine, there's no way in heck you have not seen this movie yet. Oh, it's so good. So I saw it in I mean? theaters, actually. Yeah? In, in the old days. I saw it in the movie theaters. <laughs> way back. Yeah. Way back way when. Back. And Onward is all about adventure. It's about creativity, imagination, friendship, and family. Dude, I'm going to tell you what. I may have gotten choked up at several points in this movie. It just has, it's just a feel good message. I think that's pretty standard with Disney and especially Pixar. But there's just, you, yeah, you nailed it, man. There's adventure, there's magic. There's like that family dynamic, and uh, without giving any any too much away, uh, it's very uh, a good good powerful family messages yes. and like, dude, just Pixar's amazing, like with with regards to like the animation and the right. way they tell the stories and visuals, right. dude, it's it's another level. They've only messed up once, and we might talk about that later in this list. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. We'll see where this goes. I like it. Next up is The Mandalorian. Mm. The season two official trailer has dropped. Dude. What do you think, Eric? Dude, I think that I love Star Wars all day, every day. And I think that uh, Disney has just done such a good job at the universe is massive. The Star Wars universe, the Star Wars timeline is just gigantic and right. when they can take a take a piece of that timeline and drop in a, a series that's as creative as the mandalorian like we're right. so used to seeing star wars movies right and then like uh this is an actual show so right. it's like it's binge worthy it just mm. it it grips you in it's, if you're if you're even like the tiniest bit of a star wars fan uh or or you enjoy a star wars movie dude this show is so good man it's so good and john falvaro the the director producer yeah one or the uh-huh. other both is he both uh maybe a little bit of both yeah he is a genius he also did iron man he was mm-hmm. also one of my favorite characters in couples retreat <laughs> <laughs> oh man. not on disney plus <laughs> he, yeah not on disney plus <laughs> dude um what yeah what a great Disney's only messed up once. And so you got Disney, Star Wars. It's amazing. Yeah. And, uh, I love it. No, yeah. D- Star Wars, the Star Wars franchise is incredible. And the, I think the best thing that came out of The Mandalorian is Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby, Baby Yoda. Yoda. Baby it's Yoda insane. memes are glorious. Baby Yoda, the character, is just great. And mm-hmm. uh, if you're ever wondering where the heck Baby Yoda came from, it's going to be in this Mandalorian series. It's so good. But is this the Yoda that we know and love 
from the Star Wars movies. No, it is not. It is a different. It is a different timeline, um, and I forget where it fits. Uh, it's okay. it's a certain number of years post the Empire falling, uh, but not the new series. Not not quite the timing of the new series that we know. The new uh, episodes oh, that we know. Okay. So it, it lands in there. Yeah. Um, but it's just cool. The Mandalorian, dude, like the so tribe, good. those people oh. are are intense and like, dude, ah, just go love watch it. it. Next up is one of my all-time favorite docu-series, I guess we could call it. <laughs> the World According to Jeff Goldblum. Uh, I, I know Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park. I mean, that's... Heck yes. I've seen him in a lot of things, but when I think Jeff Goldblum, I think Jurassic Park. In Independence series, Day. Sorry, Independence Day. Oh, there's had, another one. There's another there. one. Okay, go ahead. There's another one. <laughs> and in this series, uh, they dissect different industries. For example, one of the episodes is about denim. And he goes All to right. a denim factory, talks to people who collect denim and sell denim. One is about shoes. And he goes to a shoe factory. He uh, visits with people who have massive shoe collections. <laughs> he goes to these like swap meets where they... S- buy, sell, and barter shoes. And he, there's something about his personality that is so endearing and mm-hmm. insane and lovely. He's unique, and man. everyone yeah. he encounters loves him. Yeah. He's like the, I don't know, the uncle that everyone wished they had. Oh, yeah. It's uh, so fun. It's yeah. obviously family friendly because it's on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, so if you haven't seen The World According to Jeff Goldblum, yeah. I highly, highly recommend it. Check it out. Yeah, I've got to jump on it. I am. I have not yet had an opportunity to dive in. Uh, but again, this is one of those things where Justin's like, dude, you got to check it out. I trust Justin. Check it out. So I'm going to check it out. And I loved Jurassic Park. I loved Independence Day, man. Yeah. Dude, him and Will it's Smith. So and like, oh, that was a good. It's so, so, good. so him as, a, as an actor. And then um, he, he even carries that uniqueness into his roles. You know what I mean? Like oh, his, yeah. his personality. So I'm excited. I'm excited to dive in. And uh, this is this is a, one of those series that, you know, obviously Netflix has a lot of original content. Hulu has a lot of original content. So Disney Plus naturally is going to create a lot of original content that's native to their platform. Exactly. And this is one of those, uh, one, of, one of their flagship series. Um, so there's obviously a lot of, I guess, a lot of creativity and a lot of, a lot of thought went into this. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. All right, next one on the list that we want to chat about is uh, Forky Asks a Question. So Forky, of course, is from Toy Story 4, yep. and he's a spork. <laughs> <laughs> I love his He's character. just like, he's he's a great character, but uh, going back to Disney creating this you know original content, uh, this is obviously with Pixar. They've created this uh, mini series on Disney Plus yep. uh, where it's this character of Forky and he asks a question and usually and the question could be anything from what is money what is love what is love maybe, maybe don't, don't hurt, hurt me. me uh so just real uh broad concepts I guess you could say and right, then right. um and then the, he digs in and he and he learns about the thing very kid friendly very family appropriate um uh, but just uh picks are doing its thing so this is the animated version of Jeff Goldblum asks a question. It's basically right. the same that, premise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, one's animated, one's not. <laughs> and Forky and Jeff Goldblum have similar personalities, um, <laughs> both endearing, both made of both, plastic. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> both fantastic. Um, it's a must watch. Yes. What my family does actually is we'll watch a Jeff Goldblum and then we'll immediately go to Forky Ask the Question. Good, yeah. Oh, it's a good like it's a good bounce back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, it's good. So might have to might have to incorporate that into the homeschool schedule. <laughs> hey, they're learning. <laughs> yeah. And it makes them ask questions that they wouldn't have asked. Yeah, staying curious. Awesome. I like it. It's yeah, awesome. Thank you, Disney. Next one on the list is a documentary uh called Breaking 2. Now, so this is uh so on Disney Plus you'll see there's like you know a National Geographic section there's a Pixar section a Marvel section <laughs> so this kind of falls under that National Geographic side where um, Breaking Two follows a, a couple of athletes that are trying to break the marathon uh, time or trying to trying to run a marathon in under two hours. Okay, so what's that per mile? 
I feel like I did the math recently, and it's like okay. four minutes and what? fifty seconds a mile. Running or something or driving. <laughs> They're on their feet, man. They're on their feet. What? But it so it dives in. It follows these athletes uh, that are obviously long distance runners. These aren't just average joes jumping off their couch trying to yeah. do this, but. Um, it's just, uh, I love a good sports documentary, man. Yeah. And when you take the human element, the, 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 a human who just is, you know, we're all, we're all human. We all have just bodies and they push themselves to this new level to reach a goal. Um, it's just inspiring, man. Am I ever going to run a, a, a marathon in under two hours? Absolutely not. But uh, it's cool I to might. watch. I might. <laughs> Justin might. I'm, I'm, I might not. But, uh, dude, I just love a good sports documentary. Like, I'm a sucker for a good sports documentary. And this, uh, if, if you're looking for some inspiration and looking for just some uh, a look into the mindset of, of someone who's really pushing themselves and, and, and trying to get to the next level, this is, this is a good one. And um, insane. Like, I'm a runner, Justin, you run too. And just the idea of 26 miles at a 450 pace or something like that. That's insane. Like it takes a certain kind of human and a, and, a, and obviously a certain kind of dedication to be able to, to push through that. So anyways, must watch. Definitely want to check that out. This is what I love about Disney Plus. We've got series, we've got original stuff, we've got the classic movies, and then yeah. you know mixing some documentaries in there too. So, so good, awesome. All right, next up is a big question mark for me. I'm not sure what <laughs> happened at Disney uh, with this one. If you've been watching Trending Show since the beginning, I've brought this up a few times. You have the Good Dinosaur. I don't understand what happened. <laughs> What happened? Have you seen it? Dude, I've seen bits and pieces. You should sit. I, w- okay. I went to the movie theater. Oh, man. And bought $15 popcorn oh. and sat there with my children and my wife. I'm so sorry. And we watched it. <laughs> Disneyland, you know the, the Bugs Land place? They had, yeah. a, a, they had like a preview of it before oh. it came out. So I was like, dude, this is going to be good. It's about oh. dinosaurs. It's like Jurassic Park for kids. Mm-hmm. And I was pumped. And... Dude, I just don't just, know. Just it's not, on Disney Plus. No. <laughs> it's on Disney Plus, and you should like have a challenge. Like it should be the new YouTube trending thing where everyone sits down and sees how long they can get through the Good Dinosaur. <laughs> Break the record. Break the record, man. I don't <laughs> See how far it. you can get before turning it off. That yeah. bad, huh? Dude, it. I I hope you watch it. It's like it's a, not it's, that it's. It's like. They wrote it as they were animating it. They're like, uh, what should we do now? Oh, that's uh, a good idea. And they oh, just cool. did it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a Disney nut, man. I love everything Disney. I love it. Yeah, yeah. That one's weird. The next, next one on the list, we're jumping into another documentary. And this one is Free Solo. And now this one uh, takes a look at a dude who is free. So the difference, so he's a rock climber. The difference between free climbing and uh, I don't know what you call it, cable cable climbing. My sister is an avid rock climber. She like has a membership at a gym. She teaches yoga there. Uh, she, she, uh, if she's watching, she's like, "You idiot!" It's not called that. Um, anyways, there's there's free climbing and rope climbing, right? This guy and rope climbing, you can let go and you're not going to fall. Right? Yeah, you can let go. Um, you'll you'll drop to the closest link or whatever. Um, and you're not going to fall, especially if you have, you have someone belaying you down below. Mm-hmm. So free climbing is just that you're, you're, it's just you and the wall, you and the rock, you and the mountain and one misstep and it could be game over. could be life over. Let's just, yeah. let's just put it that way. Oh my God. So, yeah. um, this documentary to remind me, Justin follows a dude who is gearing up to climb one of the. To, like tallest free free climb. I think so, and it's it's just a face. Like if you if you uh. look at it, he's it's like climbing up the wall in your house. <laughs> and he's just, just grabs on, on like to this. the textures. And um, I I'm afraid of heights. Uh huh. Like big time. Yeah. Like it's debilitating. <laughs> like if I grow any taller, I'm gonna have to sit down more because <laughs> it's just. 
<laughs> it's <laughs> it's bad, man. It, it I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah. However, I saw the trailer for this and I was like, I'm going to watch that. I'm going to watch that and help myself overcome my fear. Uh-huh. And then I started it and had to shut it off. And then I was on the way back home from New York City about a month ago. And the guy sitting in front of me was watching it. Oh, no. And I'm hitting turbulence. Oh, And see, see, the camera crew on this, you'll see them. They have to look away at certain points of this. Oh. Uh, because it's so terrifying. And uh, I I had to like physically block my face from seeing his screen. He was right here in front of me and I could see his whole screen. Oh, I had no. to block my face uh, during the turbulence. Dude, insane. And his girlfriend or wife is sobbing. Why do you need to do this? <laughs> like the risk isn't worth it. And he's like, I have to. And uh oh, I, have no, I have no idea how it ends. Oh my no goodness, idea. couldn't finish it. Dude, funny story no. is so I don't uh I don't necessarily have a fear of heights, but I have <laughs> I had a weird reaction when um uh, our kids had a kite. Our kids we got our kids kites and we were gonna fly kites. And this has never happened to me ever in my life. But I, like it's, I was dude, this it. has probably happened to me like every time I fly a kite. I don't have a fear of heights. So we, we get the kite out and, and uh, we finally get it up in the air. And I'm like, oh, perfect. And then uh, my kid's running around with it. And uh, he's like, here, daddy, can you make it go real high? I'm like, heck, yeah, I can make it re- go real high. And so I'm, re- I'm reeling out the, the string, dude. And the kite is just getting higher and higher and higher. And it reached a point where I don't know what happened to me. Something physically just came over to me where I instantly felt nauseous. I was holding this kite and it, it, I think it was just the idea of how high it was in the sky. Like I wasn't in, I felt like it could drop at any moment, could hit me something. I don't know. The height, dude, I, I'm literally holding this kite and I go, uh, uh, like I just start gagging because I'm like, uh, I'm like, Amy, uh, come get this kite. I can't. Uh. <laughs> Never in my life have I ever had a reaction to anything, a, a reaction like that in my life. But this kite that's, I don't know, 50 feet in the air, maybe not even that much, just overwhelming. I couldn't, I had to go inside, man. I was like, I couldn't look at it. I, it's weird. I don't know. I do know, and I get it. <laughs> and I have the same reaction. Um, I don't, I'm not in boats in the ocean often, but I've been in a boat several times and I've looked down and the water was clear and I get the same feeling. Uh, okay. The fear of height. I don't know what it is, man. The depth. I get, I get, I feel that too. Uh, when you, when you sit and you actually grasp the depth of the ocean and I've, we've, yeah. we've gone on cruises before and I, same idea. Like you just, you think about, uh, and, and, and then you think about all the things in the ocean, like whales, dude, whales, whales are too big. They're just too big for their, nothing <laughs> needs to be that big. And the scene in, uh, castaway when he's on his little makeshift raft trying to get off the island and that whale comes up and shows his eye same scenario right Right. i'm kind of like oh i get sick to my stomach and i'm like no thanks no have you seen 47 meters down no but it sounds it sounds pretty nauseating i think it's mandy (laughs) moore she goes on this excursion i think in mexico and is that mandy moore she goes in this documentary or movie um it's a movie Oh. Um, yeah, and the the cage breaks and it falls, and it is Mandy Moore. Mm. It falls mm. and they're at the bottom of the ocean, and there's things in the water. Mm-hmm. You should watch it. It's not on Disney Plus though. But I'm no, just saying. it's crazy. No. Ugh. The beauty of Disney Plus is that with the release of this new platform, the you essentially got, have access to the library. Of all Disney movies, so we're the talking, vault. The it's vault. a vault. That's Eric. what that's what it's called. The it's vault. a vault. <laughs> <laughs> and one classic that will always have a special place in my heart is Goofy Movie. Goofy it's, Movie, it's a good one. dude. Powerline. The so Goofy Movie is a coming of age tale where Max, Goofy's son, uh, is trying to. He's just graduating high school. And he's just trying to, he's just trying to, he's trying to get the girl, but he, uh, 
basically gets caught up in a lie of like the girl invites him, hey, are you going to come watch the Powerline pay-per-view at my house this summer? And he's like, no, I can't because I'm actually going to go see Powerline in person. Uh, my He and my dad are friends. Just the lie comes out. Uh, but really, his dad wanted to go on a father-son trip. Anyways, it's the adventure of them going on this father-son trip, and but Max is really trying to get to the Powerline concert. I won't spoil it for you, but it's epic. It's amazing. It's so good. It's like the, gra- the greatest it. for me. I could watch it. It's like it's one of those movies I could turn it on at any time, at any point in the movie, and just and just enjoy it. Dude, it's a solid one. So that's my so that's my throwback. But Justin, I would love to know what your throwback is. My throwback is Hocus Pocus from Ooh. 1993. Uh, the IMDb description says a curious youngster moves to Salem where he struggles to fit in before awakening a trio of diabolical witches that were executed in the 17th century. Mm. It is a fantastic film, and I didn't know until last October that the one witch is Sarah Jessica Parker. I had no idea. What? That was when Which, I had a crush on her. It was Hocus Pocus years. <laughs> yeah. It might be some of her great it might You're be like, some of her oh, greatest work. Weird. Okay. Cool. <laughs> How old were you? You 90, were like ninety three. I was seven you were like years old. Seven. Man. Yeah. I mean and I had three witches to pick from. She was the one <laughs> I mean yeah, easy Beth choice. Midler. Easy choice. I don't even remember the other gal. Yeah. And Sarah yeah. Jessica Parker. I'm like, all right, Sarah. You're my, right. You're my it crush. It is you. You've been chosen. <laughs> Congratulations. It's a great movie, and it's not just for Halloween. You can watch it any time of the year and enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Good flick. Good, good flick. flick. Well, Justin, that was a great list. If you mm-hmm. uh, have Disney+, Plus, if you're home quarantined like we are, and you're looking for some fresh content, jump on over to Disney+. Plus. If you don't have a membership already, get you one, and you can check out all of these amazing uh, things that we've talked about today. Justin? Thanks for joining me again from Quarantine, my man. You're welcome, sir. Same to you. Everyone watching and listening, thank you so much. If you're there on YouTube, thumbs up this video. We would love it. If you're there on the podcast, five-star reviews are always what we're going for. And with that, we'll see you next week. Farewell. Adios.